Well, I'm so excited to talk to you because you're a very talented person. I mean, you like actress, <laughs> writer, director, casting director, you know, but here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. I want to know where your passion for filmmaking kind of came from and led you to this amazing journey. Um, well, I, my passion is really for acting and mm -hmm. that's kind of what I did mostly for a really, really, really long time. And then, um, I, I said this, I think in like a hundred interviews and I'm sure anybody who's listening to all of them is so bored, but like the, this is the story. The story is that I was, um, getting a lot of, I was, I did stand up, so I was like a comedian and I was doing Disney and Nickelodeon and sitcoms and stuff like that. And they weren't calling me in for like horrors and dramas and like all the juicy stuff that I really wanted to do as an actor because I got kind of pigeonholed in the comedy world. And um, because I don't have that leading lady look, according to Hollywood. And um, so I decided to make my own stuff. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna, That's I'll be the leading though, lady, you know? I'll be the love interest, I'll play the dark killer lady and yeah. watch me. So. That's how that happened. <laughs> All right, that's so cool. Well, you know, you got your two films I want to get into later, but first I want to talk about like your, uh, your, I, I guess your Hollywood career beforehand, uh, at least according to IMDb. And you People go the other them. way. I go from Hollywood to Indian. <laughs> <laughs> really I, I, I like to ask you about some of these films you've been in, either, you know, I don't know how big you are and the role is, but cause, like, it's pretty cool to be in such an amazing cast though, so. Sure. Um, First off is the really funny movie, Super Bad. Like, do you have any yes. fun stories about that movie? Yeah. I have so many fun stories about that movie. It would probably take up the whole time. But <laughs> it, was, um, it was one of the first things I booked. I only have a couple lines in it. But because I was in this big party scene um, where Jonah gets bled on. Yeah, party, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I offer him a tampon. That's my big, that's my big thing. And... Um, <laughs> But I was on it for a week because I had to be like at the party and the party itself had like lots of scenes and stuff to shoot. So I was really lucky that even though I had a small part, I got to like be on set there with them for a week and really. Oh, yeah. Like, and as someone who wants to be a, like a filmmaker director on the road, it's cool to shadow and see that aspect, you know. So. Well, and it wasn't like I remember even when my agent told me about it he was like it's you know it's seth rogan so it's not a small indie thing but it wasn't like a huge big budget thing they really mm -hmm. made it cheaply and it ended up making like an obscene amount of money yeah. like 308 million in like the first i don't know whatever um but they were doing it very indie style i mean it wasn't a huge crew not indie like the way Martin yeah but at the time it. most of the people you know weren't big stars you know no i mean jonah hill was not a huge star at that point um uh, michael Sarah had done arrested development but i don't think you know he was probably the biggest name besides seth rogan and bill Hader, and mm -hmm. and then everybody else like emma emma stone and all of those people were like no, nobody knew who they were so um yeah, it was cool to like be there. That's so cool. At the time you don't realize like what it is obviously, but then later on you're like, wow, this is like super important like to like be a part of that. So Gotcha. Uh, Mallrats is one of my favorite movies and I love Jason Lee and then eventually he got his own show and uh, my name is Earl and looks like you appeared in two episodes. That's really cool. <laughs> I worked with him. He I love him. I love him. <laughs> yeah. um, but like, I mean, from like all the, just everything I had seen him in before that, but um, I was actually an extra in the first episode and um, it was like a featured extra. So I had like a scene with him and one other extra and we just like made a face at him or something. I don't know. And then they called me and they were like, they just really liked you and they liked you on set and Jason liked you and whatever. And so we want you to come back for another episode just to do like a few lines as the same character, but you're just going to like talk this time. Oh. And so that was my first speaking role. And I decided after that, well, now I have a speaking role on my resume, so I'm not doing extra work anymore. Hell yeah. <laughs> and so I stopped doing extra work and I actually was working in casting and I call a, a really big, semi big agency called me and wanted a favor. And I was like, well, I want an agent. And so we kind of. <laughs> That's cool. Like, That's inspiring. Sir. Yeah, I was like, I already booked something. Do you want to take the, like, 40 bucks that you would make <laughs> as my agent for it? 
so yeah i'm a pushy person uh, very cool well uh, let's talk about your new uh your own movies uh jackson love is a great 20 minute short film that you wrote and star in about jack yes, and produced who, uh, yes okay yeah and uh yeah i don't want to give away too much but you know girl gets car breaks down in the middle of the desert and it you know, it goes on this crazy path, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, talk about inspiration for it, you know? Um, well, that was the first one. So that was the one I was like, I'm going to, like, write the part that I want to play. Like, the yeah. kind of part that I want to play. And I was like, I really want to play a part that you, I get to play all sorts of levels of things. Like, she's mm. nice and she's not nice. And she's yeah. crazy and she's not crazy. And she's, she's crazy. But, um, but you don't know she's crazy. So um yeah i don't know the, the inspiration was just like what do i want to do like what would i want to play and i've always wanted to like shoot something in the desert and like a car trip movie like a road trip thing yeah. and i so it just kind of like stemmed from that and i definitely am like her in the sense of i fall in love with people very quickly and i don't want them to leave me <laughs> yeah but i I'm love that crazy. aspect of the I'm film it's so good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't take it to the extreme that she does, but you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And you got uh, one now called Boo, uh, which you also wrote and directed and star in. And the and coolest produced, thing about yeah. this, it produced. Yeah. <laughs> That's the hardest <laughs> job. You can't forget. That's the worst one. That's the one I hate. So I'm always like, "That's also important." Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> uh, but the coolest thing is that this uh, crew was made up of 50 percent women. Like that's so amazing, though. That I mean, I feel like that's a big deal for everybody in the new. It right? was a yeah. We had a cup. Um, I had a couple of co-producers who were female as well, mm -hmm. and I we it was important to all of us that we hire. Um, um, as many women as we possibly could. The DP, we already had, ha we kind of already had Alex on board at that time. And so that's why we don't have a female DP. But honestly, I just think that we, we got one of the best DPs. So I was really super happy with his, that's with his cool. work. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, if I can't give women opportunities, then how can I expect people to give me up an opportunity that they might not because I'm a woman or something? Um, and so we wanted to give as many women um, an opportunity as possible. And of course, the cast is mainly women also, technically. It's three to three to two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. the movie's about a recovering addict who has to face her demons. Is there inspiration from that or, you know, someone in real life about that? Um, well, at the time, my boyfriend used to call me Boo. So that's kind of where that the boo okay. came from um but and also it's a punchline at the end a little bit yeah um <laughs> a little bit like boo um but um but I, but i you know i've dealt with addiction in my life and i've had mm. people in my life very close to me who've dealt with, like seriously dealt with addiction many yeah. kinds of addictions and so i thought i want to tell the story about addiction but i want to do it in a kind of a fun way and i also wanted to make this like scary kind of horror movie but i didn't I didn't want it to just be like a slasher or something. I wanted it to be something that had some kind of a message or a purpose. Um, I well, can't, you did an amazing job with that, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> I worked really hard on the script because, and actually I sent the script out to some festivals first to see if it did oh. well as a script and it won, it won some awards and got into a bunch of festivals. And so I was like, okay, the script is good. Cause if the script's not good, that whole movie would not yeah. work. Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> well, speaking of festivals, it's already been in a bunch, and it's got one coming up called the the Method Fest International Film Festival, August twenty eighth. So yes, I assume it's gonna be virtual or it's uh, a drive-in actually. Oh, oh. oh it's perfect for this. You know? Yeah, it, yeah, right. It's actually this is a great movie to see at a drive-in. It played at one other drive-in, the Dancing Spider Film Festival in Minnesota. I wasn't there, but I heard it went well. Um, mm -hmm. And it's playing August twenty eighth at ten p.m. Um, in the what strange lives we live block, which is the perfect <laughs> title. Um, and, and it's also gonna be online as part of the Milwaukee Twisted Dreams Film Festival in September. And then in mm -hmm. October, we're having our official online premiere, which I can't, I, I don't think I'm allowed to announce where yet, but it's a good place. <laughs> all right, well everyone go to meetmyboo.com. You'll be able to keep all up to date when this film's gonna be playing. So uh, in the future, anything else in the future you'll have to talk about before I let you go? Um, I am writing a feature right now called New Mom. Um, it's going to be a creepy 
kid feature. Oh, <laughs> um, like creepy that. kids, it's gonna have a real creepy kid. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and hopefully we're, I'll get to direct and star in that um, as my first feature, and then maybe I'll get they'll let me back into Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever it reopens, you know. So. Right. <laughs> no, I think I uh, just keep going. What you want, you the roles you wanted, go make them yourself. You know, Hollywood will come to you. You know. <laughs> You know, that's what you got to, anyway, that's what's happening now anyway. So that yeah. seems to be the best route. Uh, before I let you go, where can people follow you on social media? You know, I'm all over social media. I'm um, on Instagram. I'm at Kef827, K-E-F-827, or at Cyclamen Films, um, which you can find on meetmyboo.com. And on Facebook, search Boo Short Film or Cyclamen Films or my name, Rekefet Abergel. You will find a cornucopia of pages that i have to keep track of <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll keep up the amazing work and we'll talk down the road right thank you so much for having me i appreciate it no problem take care thanks for watching everyone please support this video by giving it a thumbs up leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button while you're down there thank you so much